Okay, hello dear friends, let's keep on reading. So this is uh, page 35 to celebrate the birthday of Jia Jing, Jia Zheng's father, Lady Xing, Lady Fang, Lady Wang, Xi Feng, and Bao Yu went to dinner at the Ning Mansion. <coughs> After dinner, Xi Feng and Bao Yu decided to visit Madame Qin, who was still sick in bed. Madame Qin gripped Xi Feng's hand and said, All this has happened to me because I do not have much luck. I can feel all my strength slipping away. I do not know if I can even hold on until the end of the year. Bao Yu began to cry, remembering the dream he had, he had had in Madame Qin's bed, of the illusory land of infinite nothingness. Xi Feng quickly sent Bao Yu home and stayed to comfort uh, Madame Qin alone. So they went to the party and uh, Madame Qin was sick. This is Bao Yu. This looks like Qin Zhong. Yeah, this must be the son Qin Zhong and Madame Qin was sick. So <coughs> Wang Xifeng was pus was uh, um, Wang Xifeng was uh, uh, comforting Madame Qin. When she finally made her way back through the garden, Xifeng was startled when a man suddenly appeared from behind a large rock. Maybe this is a guy. Hmm. It was Jia Rui who had been waiting to speak with Xi Feng. As he looked at her, his eyes seemed to be on fire, and he kept licking his lips. Xi Feng smiled back at him, trying to be polite, yet Jia Rui mistook her, mistook her look for encouragement. Jia Rui. Xi <coughs> Feng decided to play a trick on Jia Rui and uh, ask, asked him to wait for her in the western entrance hall of the Rong Mansion one night. As it was the middle of winter, Jia Rui shivered and shook as he stood waiting the whole night. Jia Rui shivered and was waiting the whole night. A few days later, he asked Xi si, uh, Feng why she had not met him and she asked him to wait for her again that night in the passage behind her room, promising she would come. However, that night Jia Rui was met by Jia Rong and Jia Qiang. Qiang. Jia Qiang. Jia Qiang. Jia Qiang. Jia Rong and Jia Qiang who would not let go of him until he promised to pay them each 50 teals of sh silver. When they finally released him, they made him squat at the bottom of the step, where a chamber pot was, was soon emptied over his head. So he was sitting there, the this is urinating. <laughs> he was waiting outside, outside. He was uh, dreaming about something. <laughs> One night, while P 
page 37. One night, while Xi Feng was sleepy, she dreamed that Madame Qin entered her room, saying that she had come to say farewell to her close friends. As she finished speaking, Xi Feng was woken by the shouts of some servants who announced that Madame Qin had died. Madame Qin had died. With a few minutes, the whole household had been informed. When he heard the news, Bao Yu felt a sudden step of pain in his chest and felt his mouth filled with blood. He ran to the Lady Dowager and told her that he had, he had to go to the Ning Mansion. When she saw that she could not change his mind, the Lady Dowager ordered a carriage and some servants to take him there. So, Madame Qin di died, and uh, Bao Yu saw, and Bao Yu was very sad. Bao Yu ta talked to Lady Dowage, and uh, Lady Dowage sent him to Ning Mansion. Okay, page 38, near the end of the first week of mourning, the eunuch named Dai Quan arrived, arrived from the palace of untold splen splendor, untold splendor with sacrifice, with sacri sacrificial offerings. Jia Zheng mentioned to the eunuch that he wished to purchase a rank for his son. Dai Quan smiled and said, In order to make the funeral more splendid, I, I assume. They then arranged that Jia Zheng would send a thousand silver teal to Dai Quan's house, and Jia Rong would become an officer of the fifth rank in the Imperial Guard. Since his wife, Madame Yu, was ill, Jia Zheng visited Lady Xing, Lady Wang, and Xi Feng, and asked Xi Feng to help make the funeral arrangements. Xi Feng liked nothing better than bossing people around and soon persuaded the other, the other two ladies to let her take charge. So he asked for some... Wang Xi Feng was taking care. This... Who is Wang Xi Feng? This looks like Xi Feng. I am a little bit confused again. This must be Wang Xi Feng who is taking charge of the funeral arrangement. When the chief steward of the Ning Mansion, Lai Sheng, Lai Sheng, Lai Sheng, Lai Sheng heard that Xi Feng was in charge of the funeral arrangements. He called all the servants to a meeting and advised them to come to work earlier and stay later, since Xi Feng, since Xi Feng was renowned to be difficult, stubborn, and prone to anger if she did not get things exactly as she wanted them. So Xi Feng was in charge, and uh, this must be um, Lai Sheng told everyone, you come early because you are now dealing with Xi Feng. Xi Feng was, uh, uh, was just not an easy person. 
Every morning, Xi Feng would arrive at the mansion to check how everything was going. When the servants was a few minutes late one morning, Xi Feng ordered that he be given twenty twenty lashes with a length of bamboo. 被打了二十大板 After that. All the servants at the Ning Mansion worked harder than usual. So someone was late. He beat, she beat them. Many nobles and influential people arrived for the funeral. The men arrived in close litters. Enclosed litters, and the the women in sedan chairs. Enclosed litters, and the women arrived in sedan chair. Must be sedan chair. Sedan chairs, all of which numbered more than a hundred, more than a hundred when lined up behind those of Jia family. The funeral procession thus stretched to three to three or four li, three or four miles, with colorful awnings, on awnings, awnings set out along with sacrificial sacrificial offerings from the families of the four princes. Of the four princes decorating the roadside, of the four princes, prince, 四个王子 of the four princes decorating the roadside, Shi Rong, the teenager prince of Beijing, remembered his ancestors' relationship. With previous generations of the Jia family, and、uh, so ignored protocol to set up a funeral booth at the roadside and offered a libation, offer and offer a libation. When the unassuming prince met Jia Zheng, Jia She, and Jia Zhen, Jia. Chen, who came to bow before him, he asked to set the boy who was born with a piece of jade in his in his mouth. Jia Zheng therefore hurried to take Bao Yu to call on the prince. Maybe this is、uh, to call on the prince. People came for the for the funeral. Okay, the procession slowly the procession slowly snaked away from the city towards. This is page forty one. The procession slowly snaked away from the city towards the temple. When Jia Zheng and Jia Rong called upon their relatives to mount their horses and chairs, Xi Feng summoned Bao Yu to her carriage so that he would not come to any harm. So Xi Feng and Bao Yu inside. Xi Feng ordered the procession to stop for a rest. When they spotted a village, when they spotted a village ahead, a few of the carriages thus moved away from the procession towards the village. Bao Yu sent a message to Qin Zhong, to Qin Zhong, inviting him to join him for a rest in the village. After receiving the invitation, Qin Zhong rode quickly, overtaking Bao Yu's carriage. Ca carriage. So this must be Qin Zhong, Bao Yu, and Xi Feng was inside, and、uh, Bao Yu asked him to go with them, maybe by a telephone call. 
and the Qin Zhong Jing 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 run after them and even overtaking their their uh, their carriage. Page forty two. They entered a village. They entered a villager's house, and Bao Yu and Qin Zhong began to look around. They soon spotted a spinning wheel on the heated bed. This bed is hot on the heated bed, which Bao Yu decided to try and test. However, as soon as he he had got up onto the bed, a pleas a peasant girl entered. And offered to teach him how to spin. She walked the wheel gracefully as the boys watched. So this is the girl teaching them how to spin. They went to a villager's house. Mm. As they were riding from the village, Bao Yu noticed. The girl standing outside another house with a baby in her arm, she was staring straight, straight in his eyes. He wanted nothing more than to go to her, but as he could not leave the carriage, all he could do was meet her glance. So they left, and Bao Yu has seen the girl. Outside with a baby, yeah, this must be the baby. Bao Yu has seen the baby.、Mm. He wanted to see. He wanted to see him. This is Bao Yu.、Mm. As they were 